All right. Now, we talked about branding yourself, and you're branding yourself, and you're throwing yourself out into the world. But you have to know who to brand yourself to. So, think about this. You're the pork industry, and you have a branding, and it's the other white meat. Who do you brand yourself to? You brand yourself to people that buy your product. You're not going to find them spending a lot of money at a conference for, say, vegans. So, you're no different. What you want to do is you want to put your product out in the world in a way that people who will buy your product will see it and find it interesting and will identify with your branding. So, if you're on Facebook and you have 5,000 people and you are showing your art, but yet no one's going to buy it, you really have missed your market. It's better to have a smaller group of people that see your art, want your art, 100 people that are buyers are more important to you than 5,000 people that are not. This is one of the things you have to think about when you become a professional artist.